making noise outside. I am trying to film a video. Don't have a watch. Oh my gosh, I just, what are the odds that they decide to do construction right outside when I'm filming a video? Why? It stopped! Okay, this is my time, this is my chance. Hi! <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys, this, this is going well, I'd say. It's going well, it's going well. The last five years, both music and lyrics were all done by Jason Robert Brown. Jason Robert Brown actually came up with the idea for this musical on his way to a meeting to talk about his next musical. By the time he had walked from his apartment to the office, he had sketched out the idea for the last five years. Now, six months prior to that, Jason Robert Brown's musical Parade had opened on Broadway. So Jason knew that he wanted his next musical to be different in two ways. He wanted a small cast so that the show could be performed anywhere, in any venue. And he wanted the songs to feel like complete moments, sort of similar to the way a singer makes an album and each track can stand alone but still follow a storyline. He wanted the story to be told without dialogue so it was just one big through line of moments of music. He wanted it to be a raw love story about love coming to an end, but he knew that he had to do this in a way that it wasn't just completely sad and unfun to watch. And he knew that in order for the characters in the show to be telling the story, that they had to already be out of the relationship. I love what he did. I think this is so creative. He came up with the idea that one character tell the story in chronological order and the other tell it backwards. So the woman's story starts with the divorce and ends with the first date. And the man's story starts with the first date and ends with the divorce. They do meet up at a middle point, which is the wedding. A lot of people connect this musical to Jason's life, but he actually started out just writing it, not really thinking about his own life. But as the writing process evolved, he started pulling things from his own experience with divorce. And this really helped him heal and grow and discover. And I think that really adds to the rawness of the story. The emotions, everything just feels so real and vulnerable and emotional and it, it gives you all the feels. The feels are everywhere. Look at all the feels. The last five years opened off-Broadway on March 3rd, 2002. Sherry Renee Scott, who you've heard here a couple of times, I think, at least in Aida, um, she played the original Catherine, or Kathy, and Norbert Leo Butts played Jamie. Both of them are pretty well known in the theater community. The show won a Drama Desk Award for Outstanding Music and Lyrics. It's actually been done internationally, including places like Mexico and Korea and the UK. There was actually a run on the West End pretty recently in October of 2016. It was also revived off-Broadway in 2013. A film adaptation starring Anna Kendrick and Jeremy Jordan premiered at film festivals in 2014, but in theaters in 2015. I watched the movie yesterday and I followed along with the complete book and lyrics from the musical and it's pretty much word for word exactly the same. There's minor changes to dialogue and like some dialogue added and some swear words taken out I think to give it a PG-13 rating but overall it's pretty much the same. <laughs> I ran out of breath. Something that is different in the movie is that they have the characters interacting throughout so it's not just like at the wedding. I've never seen the show live in person like the musical done in person I've only seen the movie so I can't really compare them that well. The movie for me really works. It didn't do that well critically but I liked it. <laughs> it pulled at my heartstrings. It made me emotional. It gave me all the feels, as the kids say. Jeremy Jordan's voice is like silk. I can't, I just, give me a minute. And the chemistry with Anna and Jeremy is just, it's just, please watch it. It is on Netflix. It is glorious. Now I know a lot of you that come to my channel like the musical Hamilton. I don't know, some of you may not have heard of Hamilton. It's a very underground musical. We don't talk about it a lot, really. In Hamilton, at the end of Say No to This, Alexander says, nobody needs to know. Except he sings it a lot better than that. That was, that was a poor example. That is actually a reference to the last five years. There's a song in this musical called Nobody Needs to Know, and I just think that's pretty cool. I like when musicals interact like that. I like when composers borrow from each other and 
play off each other and homage each other, which sounds really inappropriate, but it's not. <laughs> oh my god! I hope you guys enjoyed this Musical of the Month. I look forward to having a full year of Musical of the Month videos. I haven't had a full year because I started in the middle of last year. Oh, I keep running out of breath today. I'm just like talking a lot or something. I don't, I don't even know. I love you all. Stay beautiful, you people. Bye! Bye 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 bye.